So this is very exciting. Who's going to be the first beer on the balcony guest in 2023? And he comes on and he explains that that person had a bail. Yes. <laughs> on the show. Let's go over the schedule. All right. <laughs> the Oakster was supposed to be. I know. So. This uh, is how the show Jesus starts. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's too much. Right. Everything I said about you earlier, I take it all back. You're amazing. Yeah. You're the best podcaster I've seen all day. So don't even worry about it. I don't Let's get call it. The I... schedule. All right. The Oakster was supposed to be on today. But due to a scheduling problem, really, there was big storms and he couldn't leave the city <laughs> to go to his Hampton house. And um, so. He- now, first off, that's a weird excuse, right? Yeah. He's yeah. he's in his apartment where he broadcasts from all the time. 500 miles above Five, New York. 500 feet above <laughs> New York. And the fact that he's sitting there and he goes, well, the weather's not great, so I can't come out with you today. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. How does hypocrite! That <laughs> How does that get you? <laughs> hypocrite. Hypocrite. <laughs> hypocrite. So basically, Opie's washing his hair. <laughs> That's how I took that excuse. <laughs> I don't know. It's rainy out. I don't know. I, I can't talk. I'm wearing a towel. <laughs> to be fair, he can only podcast in front of a sunrise. We know that now. That's true. All right. Good point. All right, so let's see uh, more scheduling information here. Oh, he had to reschedule. So hopefully we have OP on tomorrow. Now- he didn't. He had Cardiff. And I don't know <laughs> if Opie's big timing him. Time will tell. I don't know if Opie's ever going to do John's show again, but hopefully he does. That would be great. I mean, hopefully for WATP's sake, obviously. Well, I think Opie likes stringing people along. He keeps he telling Kevin he's going to do his podcast whenever he wants, and then every time Kevin sends him a link, he's like, he, he's like, uh, he, he what did what he say? Like, you don't send me the link. Yeah, I right. tell you when you send me the link. You don't decide to yeah. send me. I was like, dude, all right, then don't do the podcast. Who gives a fuck? He also just said that he's not doing anything for free. So, right. and you don't think Stutcho's like offering anything up, right? <laughs> no. Okay. There's no, there's no way, especially beer on the balcony, because he's not getting super chats on that, because that's behind the paywall. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. So what's now, going on? Like, uh, um, go ahead. I, I was gonna say, so what's going on? Like, what's the whole thing with Chad wanting thirteen hundred dollars back from John? Do you um, know anything about that? Yeah, Is that I know, like a I know everything. Thing? I know everything about that. Chad is fucking with John, and John's falling for it. Chad got John to call the Tampa Police Department. The FBI, I think the LA Police Department, because Chad put out a tweet, and Chad keeps fucking with John and saying, "I'm coming to your house. I'm driving there now. I'm gonna fuck with your house." And John's like, "I got patrol cars going by my house 24 <laughs> seven, looking for this guy." It's like yeah. Johnny's fucking with you. Nobody announces they're gonna vandalize your place before they vandalize your place. Even a criminal as dumb as Chad Zubak wouldn't do that. <laughs> Fast forward to me going, I guess I was wrong. Chad Zubak is that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's that's the story on that is that John is – he called me the other day very concerned. This is a week ago, actually. I was I was down here doing a show with my buddy Vinny Paulino for the Creep Off, and I get a call from John Melendez. I pick it up, and he's like, Carl, I had to call the cops. Oh, Chad, he's out of control. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Turns out it was a tweet. Okay, well. <laughs> I think it'll be There's right. flaming dog poop on my porch. <laughs> Help. <laughs> One of those burning bags of poop again. <laughs> <laughs> he's playing knock, Ready? knock, run away. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this was a real call to the cops, or was this like a Rochester call to the cops? That's a great question. It's it's hard to tell. It's a weird brag to say you're calling the police on someone. It's kind of pathetic. Hi, I just moved to town. Uh, (laughs) Help. Uh, Officer, how many trolls do you have? (laughs) You might be able to relate to this. Hi, I'm Stuttering John. You're a fan of mine. (laughs) But let's get past that. (laughs) Remember how people didn't like you after that whole George Floyd thing? Well, I have a similar (laughs) uh, predicament. (laughs) (laughs) Carl and I have been talking about doing uh, a show together. And we talked about Tuesday. And I just realized Tuesday I booked... Uh, 
a very, very important guest. Yeah, I got bumped. We <laughs> yeah, yeah. set up. We we're gonna do Tuesday, and then I get to know it's like I actually have a great guest coming Tuesday. And Chrissy Mayer. Yeah. I got bumped for. I, I love Chrissy. I sent her a note congratulating her. So for some reason, she said I love you, suddenly John at the end. I thought that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so I sent yeah. her a note about that. It but, is insulting. Like I got Carl Whitman. I actually got an important guest. Yeah, I know. You also got bumped for someone who bailed after thirty minutes. That's the funniest part. Well, listen, Chrissy's a busy person. She had right. another interview to do on right. her channel. And she's not just going to sit there for three hours with John. Most people wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. So. No one ever has, actually. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe the Army Major. Richard Ojeda, yeah. yeah, for sure. Richard Ojeda. Um, all right. So, yeah, I got bumped for Chrissy. I don't take offense to that. It's fine. We rescheduled for uh, for Wednesday. And um, I'm looking forward to that for sure. That I think you're all going to enjoy. But I'm not going to tell you who. It was a love fest, by the way, too. Yeah. Chrissy and John, wow, did they make up? Yes. That was something else, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I was in the wrong. No, I was in the wrong. <laughs> no, you're great. No, you are. Hey. No, you're right. <laughs> well, he did say, I did watch some of it. It was like, well, I did have like 15 beers before that. Yeah. So uh, yeah. I had a little attitude. Well, and he was missing the football game. For some reason, he didn't know the Giants schedule their games long in advance of when the games actually happen. It's not a surprise to anyone. They're like, hey, by the way, uh, today the Giants are going to play. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to go on Chrissy's show. So, yeah, that was part of the problem as well. He's sitting there in his Phil Simms jersey. (laughs) Glory days. Do you think Don Bo is going to apologize to Chrissy now? Ooh, I doubt it. (laughs) (laughs) Is that guy still going? I got to remember all the different sock accounts that John had on Twitter. Because I was thinking about that. You know, Yankee fan, Maple Leaf fan, Dombo. Like, what's the, what were some of the other ones? There's been a bunch. And they all hated Chrissy Mayer. It was the craziest fucking thing. All the, uh, it's, it's so bizarre because here you have this guy who's way into the Maple Leafs. Huge Maple Leaf fan. <laughs> and all he tweets about is Suttery John. It's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> Yankee Here's fan, same the thing. Way. In the middle of the Yankee season, all he can do is talk about how much Anthony Cumia's acne is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're making a playoff run. And he's like, right. did you guys see Pocky? Like, what? what? Oh, is, is there a judge toes going to be okay? Who gives a shit? This Anthony Cumia. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. I grew up around a lot of Yankees fans. They were always like, hey, forget about how the game's going. Howard Stern was a cheap fuck, wasn't he? <laughs> I love this. Oh, once your head grows out long, you can look like an 80s rock star. You should do a flock of eagles style on live one day. Flock of seagulls. All right. That is my sister in law. (laughs) Observe and report people, but my sister in law likes to get involved sometimes. But this is great because she got John to sing. And John is a musician, as we all know. He Atlantic Records, I believe, right? I mean, he's Talked my way out of it. Yeah, he had he, a he, he had a song on the soundtrack of Airheads. I and heard that. Soundtrack of another, but oddly, not on the soundtrack of One Too Many. Hmm, I wonder hmm. why that is. <laughs> oh, Airheads was that Adam? I'm thinking Coneheads, but Airheads was uh, yeah. Was, John, that was what Adam Sandler, right? Yeah, yeah. John had a cameo in uh, Airheads, and I guess he had a song on there. And um, wow, I don't know if you knew this, Liam. You probably don't. John wants open for Ted Nugent. <laughs> he, he never talks about it. He doesn't talk about it. He, or that's all he fucking talks about, right? Yeah, it sounds he like opened he for Ozzy. Talk. He opened for Ted right. Nugent. It's all he fucking talks about. Oh, what was the other one? Collective Soul or some shit? Like, okay, I, I got to make a note for the next super chat. I got to get him to do his Ozzy impression again. It is oh, yeah. gold. Yeah. Okay. Good call. <laughs> now, but. Let's all sit back and watch John sing. He's very good at this. Close your eyes for a little while. I'm falling in love. Ring, ding, ding. Ring, ding, ding. <laughs> so, Lucy, should I just throw out that chair? He is a better guitar player than you. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. He did the plink, plink, plink I thing. I was very impressed. Yeah, I could tell he knew all the chords. <laughs> like guitar george i did happen to go on um shuli's anonymous could someone try and super chat and see if it works <laughs> <laughs> guys 
I'm trying to I'm test not, the super I'm chat here. That. I'm stealing that. I'm, I'm stealing. not sure. Can you super chat me from Europe? Anyone in Europe? Can you super chat me? Is that working? All right, let's test this. What about ten dollars super yeah. chats? Do those work? <laughs> oh, my Venmo's broken too. Uh, let's try that. Yeah. So we we'll just Venmo me. Let me see if it's working. It's I don't know. If my amazing. PayPal takes over a hundred. Just somebody try it out. <laughs> So then a super chat comes in, and John is so confused by this. It's hilarious. <laughs> it works. Uh, let's see. Okay, Rich Goldman. Thank you so much, Richie. Thanks for the two bucks. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> you got canceled on you drunk. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, well, let me break it down you for you. <laughs> canceled on you drunk. Uh... <laughs> He's, he's got to be nice because they're giving him money, yeah, but he knows right. they're shitting on him at the same time. Well, I don't think he did on that no, one. He was I was very confused. Yeah. yeah. And I love how excited he is at first when he sees the money, yeah. and then he's just like, you are a fat slob. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you mean? Because this is a perfect example of that, where Chad just reads these super chats. Can I say something in um, John's defense? Just no. real quick. <laughs> no, please, go ahead. There's a first for everything. The super chatters are trying to get him to say the N-word, and he refuses to do it. Correct. Meanwhile, I saw a super cut of Ray getting tricked into saying the N-word over and over for like three minutes. Well, that wasn't really a defensive yeah, job. That was more just that. shitting on Ray again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I Liam, the this. I brought you on because you're Ray's friend. I was trying to balance this thing out, and now here you are <laughs> piling on. No, no, I'm saying Ray is such a good comic that, uh, yes. you know, John is, like, even more aware than Ray is. Right. That's what you were saying. I agree. Yeah, I had, uh, yeah, I had no idea I was reading uh, a racist <laughs> Yeah. Mr. Nicholas G-U-R-R. -R. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you haven't seen Opie Falling For It, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, Opie Falling For It was the best. But right. just remember, everybody, that your knees don't grow. So those two words do not need to be next to each other in a super chat. Don't fall for that one. Right. Um, I'm looking especially ghoulish today, Lewis Gomez. <laughs> uh, especially ghoulish. Yep. Yeah. Brooks Robinson. Can some? I don't know what this means, but uh... <laughs> there's no words there. He wrote again. You got canceled on. You drunk. Yeah. And John's going, I, these people keep saying this, but it obviously doesn't make any sense at all. So I don't know why you're saying that. And then uh, here's John one more time here. Just get rid of that big hack levy. You don't <laughs> need them any time of the day. Just go and say... Guggy Eskivi. <laughs> uh, I want to be that entertaining by myself. This? <laughs> no, Kevin said I was exhausting. No, that's what Chad said. Who the fuck gives a shit? That's a drop. <laughs> we have to get that on the board. <laughs> oh, let me back that up again, real quick. Cause that's that's a fun one. Who the fuck gives a shit? <laughs> So wet. Uh, <laughs> That's a real wet shit right there. <laughs> Suffering suck a dash. <laughs> All right. Producer Chris, let me pass it over to you. Before we get into the Elisa Gianna, Jordana interview. Oh, right. What did you pick up on as far as what you're looking at on uh, the Reddit there, Dabblers Anonymous? All right. <clears throat> All of these, save one, were posted by Pickwick Pub. I just yeah. want to give credit where it's Pickwick due. Pickwick Pub has posted a lot yeah. of these video clips. Going Thank ab you. above and beyond. Appreciate that. Well, let's start with PC1. There's some mole talk here, but let's see if we can pick up on a little sneaky hypocrisy. Okay. And I haven't watched this yet, but I think I might be familiar with this video. John claims there's a mole at Julie Network that's feeding him information. He did the same thing mm -hmm. with Howard Stern. This is out of his playbook. Yes, yeah. they would say. I'm not a political pundit, but this is what you'd say is out of the old playbook of uh, Stuttering John. He was blaming you all morning for his channel getting a strike. He thinks you have a mole at his network. Okay. <laughs> I don't strike people. He doesn't okay. lie. <laughs> what? I didn't strike KC, <laughs> even though he accused me of it. I don't. You did. So when people say that I struck somebody, you just know. 
It's horseshit. <laughs> now, do I have a mole over there? Yes. Does the mole tell me everything that they're going to do? Yes. <laughs> I guarantee you, if there is a but, mole, it's somebody that's playing, well, right, like alongside right. with Shuli to pretend like they're a mole to like right. just fuck with John. So, of course. Yeah. Well, but, here's an here's an effed up fact: uh, the Shuli <laughs> Network has a phone number you can call to report moles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an effed up fact. <laughs> so John <laughs> fell for this whole thing where Chad Zumach is trolling him, and that other guy Tony Mazer are trolling him for three hours straight. And now John's saying he knows everything they're up to over there, even though they just got over on him very recently. He's like, no, I got a mole. I know everything that's going on. So he's playing this long game that we're not even familiar with. Oh, yeah. We don't even know what's going on. He does copyright strike. He did it to me both on YouTube and on Patreon. So I was a little taken aback by that. But okay. Let's see what else he has to say here. I wouldn't strike him. <laughs> I love that Shuli was my mole at Stern, and now I have a mole at the Shuli Network. And man, do they have things to say about how cheap he is. Oh, yeah. He doesn't yeah. pay anyone He's the way they it. should be paid. Yeah. And he knows <laughs> it, which is why he ain't going to, he's not going to bring it up because he knows he essentially rips off Levy. Oh, he's so dumb. This is why mm. John is so easy to fuck with because he's sitting here going, now you know that if he is talking to someone over there, just like you said, they're going, oh, yeah, Shuli's the worst. We all hate him. He doesn't pay us anything. If that were the case, they wouldn't work there anymore. That's how you know people don't get paid enough. They leave that job. That, that's a good indicator. John worked for Howard Stern for 15 years. He ought to paid me for 15 years. Well, that's on you, idiot. <laughs> Why are you still working there then? Wait, people don't call a radio call screener when they don't like their jobs? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> But also, like, I do mind. believe that there is someone over there talking to him Probably, just yeah. to fuck with him. Like, just Probably. to fuck with him. Yeah. And John's too stupid. Like, how many times has he got to get this, like, played before he figures out, like, oh, there's just people fucking with me? Right. Like, he's... He, he'll never figure it out. It's I, you've told him point blank on MLC. Yeah. You're so easy to fuck with. Yes, I know. And man. he's like, well, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know... I'm, I guess Silent Mike doesn't do anything anyway, but neither does Shuli. And Levy just goes, ah, 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 listen to me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Listen to me. Listen to me. That's, Wait, is, that's fucking Come on, amazing. do it three more times, John. Yeah. Is Bob Levy Boy. on his show? Yeah, I got confused there for a second, too. That was such a spot-on impression. <laughs> I know. You'd swear it was the real person. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that, that one ran long. A couple of these are kind of long. Okay. Uh, let's go to a, a relatively short one. Okay. Play uh, PC4, and guys, just tell me what the fuck he means. Well, I'm fat. So well, if I can't, if I can't <laughs> fat shame me... Okay. <laughs> I'm fat. Mm -hmm. So if I could say that I'm fat, you did. Why can't I say that he's fat? Hmm. Let me try and think of how I could spin this to make John seem like he's wrong. Hmm. Let's see. John's fat. Hmm. Hmm. So I guess he can call somebody else fat, huh? Yeah, I guess he can. Because he goofs on himself for being fat. Damn it. Swing and a miss. So I, I don't even know the context to that. But it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, right. He's, he literally thinks that this is like a black person using the N-word. Yes. Like that's not right. what this is at all, John. Some people don't like being called fat. Now, I don't care what you call anybody, personally. I right. think it's all fair game. We have, we have a so. First Amendment here in this country. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Right. It's fine. But don't just be like, well, of course I called you a fat ass. Look at me. I'm in horrible shape. <laughs> what does that prove? Who did he call fat? I don't What's know. this all about? Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know that. But uh, it just speaks for itself in its own stupid way, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like John calling someone a horrible alcoholic with a smooth brain. <laughs> Curtis mad at us for playing uh, clips from Reddit. That's his bit. Curtis, do you know yes. the context of this? 
of which the, of who, the calling, calling someone fat. fat? Yeah. yeah. No, I was trying to figure that one out too. I don't know why he. I. I. I, don't, I have no idea. It, did you see a show today? He, he came on drinking a Slim Fast, so I don't know. He's going with this fat thing. Was he yelling skull every time he drank the Slim Fast? Uh, I don't think he was, but he should have been. 1987? Uh, what the fast? fuck is a Slim Fast? <laughs> I'm getting back on them now. He's just wow. snorting He's the powder. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> hey, hey. Thigh ma- yeah, he have a thigh master with him? Yeah. And right. you, you think he would... Uh, actually, maybe it's Patrick Melton. That's some... Uh, Josie Wales had it in the chat. Uh, uh, he's called it's Fatty prob- Patty. Probably Fatty Melton. Patty. Fatty yeah. Patty. That would make but you sense. Th- you think he would come on with a slim fast and make a Tommy Lasorda reference, but no, not not John. <laughs> that was a very famous interview that he never talks about. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> and right. he was also a very famous <laughs> spokesperson for said product. I know. I'm, I'm following yes. you, Cardiff. All right. What else you got, Producer Chris? Well, I'm glad Cardiff's here. Um, I'm skipping. No through one's ever said that. Yeah. Anymore. Well, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Chris did not speak for all of us. <laughs> I know. Cardiff. Uh, I immediately regretted it when he didn't know the answer to that. I'm like, then why the fuck did I? God damn it. Cardiff one tries to I have. Cardiff tries to have fun with him, uh, and John isn't sure how to have fun anymore. Oh yeah, but no, he's trying. Blocked again right after he's this trying. appearance. But uh, <laughs> I, I number six. Again. Number six. We oh, we uh, address the Mensa thing again. Oh, okay, good. Super happy fun chatter. Thanks for the two bucks. John, can we see your Mensa member card? <laughs> I don't know if I can find it now. Uh, I, okay. I, <clears throat> I didn't even have my SAG after card when I was signing in today because it's somewhere around here. Now, you, mm-hmm. you, you've you said that the Mensa <laughs> thing is a joke, right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Let's be let's be real, John. Let's be honest. No, with the people. Here. I don't have it here. Are you a member of Mensa? Yes. Of course. Or... No. Come on. No <laughs> shtick. Let's go. No. Of course. I'm... Of course. What no, test did you course. take to become a member of Mensa? I took the test to get it. Test. The Mensa test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's it? Yes. Come on. I don't know. You, said <laughs> you said you've it gone on the so record saying though. it was just a joke. No, <laughs> It was on a McDonald's placemat. <laughs> so, Kurt, if I was watching this when you were on talking to him about that, thank you for holding him to this. Because Royce, his co-host, goes, John, come on, you're not in Mensa. Yeah. He goes, I know, I know, but I like to say that's funny. Right. So he's already admitted it, and now he's trying to go back and pretend he's in Mensa yeah. again. Yeah, and this is John coming clean, John 3.0. Yeah, right. What the fuck you doing, man? Uh, <laughs> wait for 5.7. That's going to be the one. <laughs> that's the one. Can I tell you, instead of looking in his wallet, he looked around the box. <laughs> like the coffee table. Yeah. yeah. Like maybe it's on the off. ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like it's a Talking Heads video. Yeah. <laughs> Let me it's look at my pile, my pile of cards here. Let's see the Queen of Diamonds, uh, t- yeah. Two of Spades. No, the Met- my Mets of cards not here. Some yeah. fourth grade report cards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> If he has qu- playing cards on his coffee table, you think they're all stuck together? Ugh, I don't want to think uh, about that. Cardiff. All right, I, I want to skip ahead that. to number nine. This is uh, this is breaking news. At least oh. something I got excited about. Would you consider doing the stuttering John roast? I think that would be great. How much am I getting paid? You'll oh, you'll make you'll make money. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I will say one thing: the dabblers, the dabblers, uh, they support. Even even he dabbled. They support. They come out in droves. You know, he's asking like a J word right there. I have to, I have to be honest with you guys. Got real excited about that. At these live yeah, you shows, can, you, you can hear well, the creaky. Will. I would definitely do one. I mean, if if they paid me, because I think that is the best, the best way for a comedian. Uh, again, we'll go. Better than a boxing match. Yes, I agree, yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. I'm going to bring this up when I go on and when we do our show together. That we should do a roast of, I don't know if Shuli would agree, agree to this, but the roast of Shuli and John. Just like we did the roast of Carl and Vinny here in Rochester last year. You could have two people mm-hmm. be the, the topic of conversation. And at the that's the best place to be because at the end you get to get back at everyone else. Yeah. You get the last say. Yeah. It's great. And, and they would have gone through it together and they might be friends after that. <laughs> oh, I would love to. I would love to see what John writes. Oh, me yeah. too. That's why. That's no. how we're all rooting. Plenty of time to prepare, John. No. 
It'd be amazing. Yeah. Well, we keep well, talking I don't know about if you know this. He was the head writer for the Kareem Abdul Jabbar. What? <laughs> no, come I on. Wish, I wish he would bring that up. Yeah. <laughs> so he is a guy a who's known for such a sense of humor, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Very yeah. known as being lighthearted. I'm sure that was a, a riot. All right, I'm going to do one more clip, and then we're going to tap out. But we keep going back to this J-word thing. Let's do number three and okay. finally address what this J-word is. Yeah, I'm confused by this. I'm not going to – let's just say, Chrissy, I'm no fan of Comia's for a lot of the things he does. But you've been there for quite a while, and, I, you know, I don't know. I, all I'm going to say, if, and this is – I hope you don't, don't take this the wrong way. <laughs> I hope one day you decide to move away from, from him because he's a little toxic. And I, what is, your big, is your, would you say is your biggest beef? Is it that you think he ta- like has talked about your, is it the talking about the kids issue? I started with my kids and one of them was a minor and my ex-wife had to call me and say, whatever you can do, please have this stop because the kids are getting upset because they're getting trolled by their friends now. Kids, because- friends were watching Kumia's show and heard that. <laughs> 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 media. Cause he was doing all social Wait media. He was becoming on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> And, you know, so they just said, you know, so I had to call my lawyer in New York and <laughs> call the cops. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's still like just hearing that is like brings me back to when Chad uh, lied about his black eye. And yeah. he goes, yeah, he goes, I felt bad because someone's like, hey, my kids looked up to you. To be fair, to be fair, John's family probably all watches Compound. Because right. for years, he was probably telling them, I'm going to be on this network. Yeah, that's my chair. Like, I'm going to be a co-host here. That is true. He did and then that. they started watching, like, yeah, this ain't bad. I'm going to stick around. <laughs> Wait, are we so are we going to let this comment, I called my lawyer in New York, slide? Who is this lawyer in New York Vince. who's not working for free? Vince. Is it Michael Popak? Like, who oh, is it? Oh, maybe, maybe it is uh, Vinny, the attorney, mm-hmm. that yeah. he's referring to. Yeah, it could be Vince, the lawyer. Because mm-hmm. I know that uh, Vinny has said many times that... Uh, John is not his client. <laughs> so I know for a fact that John might think that's his lawyer, but that lawyer doesn't think that John's his client. That's for who, sure. Who's this Finney the lawyer? Like, I don't know him other than just in pot sound. Is he altogether there or is he like kind of like a character himself? I don't yes. know. Yes. <laughs> you know, you don't know, then, you know about sending that? him a cease and desist. That was the first thing. Then the second thing is when he goes, he's constantly tweeting these, you know, effing. N's and J's stuff, and then the, you know, and then like he, he's playing a video game and using the N word freely and the J word freely. First time ever, someone playing a video game shouted out a gamer word. They're literally called gamer words for that reason. But okay, all right. It's but that if they kind weren't of acting so- like, oh, never mind. <laughs> what, what's wrong, guys? Never mind. J word? <laughs> yes. Garth, like you? Yes. <laughs> well, you're You're calling. Saying- I didn't know (laughs) it was J word. Yeah, you're not supposed to say that anymore. You're not supposed to say Jew? No, Jewish, yes, but no. Holy, this guy is retarded. Yeah. Well, that's the R word. I've heard other people say that. Let me ask you, you're a J word. I am 100% a J word. Are you offended by that word? Fuck no. No, because that's what you are. Yeah, I'm a total fucking Jew. (laughs) Dude, I'm 50% J word. I'd never heard of this before. (laughs) Well, actually, you're not allowed to say Italian anymore. Oh, fuck. I've been saying that shit. Well, that's the I word. They cancel me. I just say dirty eye tie. That's all I say. (laughs) Yeah, right. You got to say dirty Italian uh, if you're going to say it. Jewish, yes, but not. Uh... Look, oh I my know. God, people are getting no, no. so sensitive. That's so crazy. No, John's just stupid. Yeah. I get that, but let's just take the J part out of it. How She's about playing him. F I love and it. Now we know what he's yeah. saying there. So he I said, "What's the word?" I'm and, a teacher. And, like it's free. He said, the the G part. <laughs> plus N equals canceled. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck. He's amazing. I I personally don't use it because I don't I don't do it in a way that's funny, so it doesn't make sense for me. But like, well, he doesn't do it in, in a way that's funny either. It's just being hateful. Look, I don't care. You, you have your own thing. You, you know, me personally, I, I I don't think he's a good person. That's it. You know, but okay. that's just, you know, but it doesn't mean I don't. You know, I'm gonna shit on you because you're already. How long have you been on his network? That's funny because up on the uh, super chat. 
is how he used to call her horse face and yeah. gummy and gums. I think he's like, get... I wouldn't shit on you, obviously, Chrissy, but <laughs> they get to that in this clip. Oh, okay. I know okay. it's running along, but it is. All right. So, when did I pitch my show? I think it was 2019. So, since 2019. So, four years. And it's like. Four years. And, and by the way, I've done his show a bunch of times. Can, can you pause before it for a second? I knew any of this. Oh, and it's it, Lily Bell. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one thing he he did not catch that the super chatter's name was Lily Bell. A super chat like four or five later mentioned Lily Bell in it, and he got all upset. <laughs> but he didn't catch this one. Well, this one was up a couple times. Yeah, but watch Chrissy Mayer because she does not put her phone down for the rest of this interview. Okay. It just it's just when he started trashing my kids, then it just went all downhill. And then and then and then I was out of the Anthony Comia business. Anyway, enough about Anthony. So- oh, okay, that was it. Sorry. So what what was Chrissy doing on her phone the whole time? I don't know. She was very uh distracted. I, I, again, she wanted to be she wanted to be out of there. Yeah. <laughs> well she, this point. she had a big interview coming up and she even said she goes, Okay, John, listen, I really have to go. And he goes, Okay, just three more questions. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Bell needs to know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So, Elisa was on the show for Beer on the Balcony on Sunday. And we all know Elisa from Kermit and Friends. She's no longer doing Kermit and Friends. But um, she has moved to Florida. And so, John brings her in. And immediately, because John's so good at this, explains to her that she has to show her face. Because everyone wants to see how hot she is. That's the only reason why he has her on the show. Yeah. Now, remember, he said that Opie canceled on him. So he's already made it her look bad. Like, if I had someone fill in at the last minute, you could just not say that at all. Yeah. You know, I, I, like, that yeah, part out. I can't believe we have a lease on the show. This is amazing. So exciting. This, is, this is great. Yeah. You don't have to already establish that Opie canceled on you brought her in last minute. But he makes that very clear. It is on. Um, Same Opie shot, but he's got no, two Lisa. of them, right? At least we don't. I'm not happy uh, with how I look right now. There's a huge storm. Uh, <laughs> and there's a storm. The so At do least uh, but yeah. you're a beautiful well, girl. We want to see you. I am in the middle of a tornado, and you just asked me to do this two hours ago. <laughs> yeah. I know, but you said you were going to get ready two hours ago. All right, but my nope. hair is still wet. I don't look good. Nobody can how do John's you, show in the middle of the storm. It's impossible that you don't Nobody. look good. I don't look good right now. My hair is wet. Let's just start talking, John. I'll make it good. Don't worry. Uh, all right. Well, it's just a, right, I said right. to you, come right, on. Okay. I I'll, can't I'm jerk off myself. to a cat hold on. picture. Go, okay, hold on, hold on. I'll look at myself. Oh, my oh, there's no way you can look bad. Look at me. I'm wait, a wait. mess. Now, how do I put my camera on it? Oh, here. Oh. What a charmer. Yeah. You think like you shit. don't look good. <laughs> my hair is wet. There's a tornado. You look, I, you I look, look stunning. She does like better than Gino what does that. Yeah, I, like, I just well, love not... I love the way he pressures her into turning on her camera. He did this to uh, Monique too back in the day. Yep. Said, Come on, sweetheart. Let's go. Let's show. Let's show what's going on over there. Oh, I was... love that. <laughs> they love that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I got to say, sweetheart, start talking down to him. Come on, sweetheart. Come yeah. on, sugar tits. Show your face. <laughs> I was thinking about Turn Monique earlier cuz Monique implored him to have fun with it yes like a year and a half ago yep he's finally coming around a little bit correct yeah yes Thanks, he is having fun and that's the thing like we're busting his balls he's busting my balls every day too yeah this is fun we're all having fun now we're not striking each other's channels no one's trying to get anyone arrested <laughs> no leg breaking we're not suing people yeah. we're not getting the not trying to take involved. houses yeah, this is all. It's all good. It's all. It's all fun. You know, games if he ever now. sees your house, he's going to show other people. It's like, yeah, I almost got that house too. I would have had two houses. <laughs> yeah. I would have two houses. One more, I got a hotel. <laughs> I, I was three jokes about my kids away from getting that house. <laughs> when he had me on Monday, I had I had just got off a of red eye that morning. I I'd slept for a couple hours. I get a Twitter DM from him, and I don't always check my Twitter DMs. I happen to check, and I saw it. And it's like, what's your email? And this was three minutes after his show started. (laughs) So I send him my email. I go to watch his YouTube waiting for the email. And he's complaining how I was begging him to come on the show. And I'm late. That's hilarious. I haven't even got the StreamYard link yet. And I'm late. That's funny. Because he mentioned, who did he say he was going to have on a Monday? Was it, um, was it, uh, because we just played the clip a second ago. Now I'm already forgetting. 
I don't know if it was Opie. Oh, Alex no. Stein? O- no, it wasn't no. Alex Stein. Opie. Yeah, I think it was. No, it was Opie. Alex Stein was today. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. whatever it was, he, he goes, yeah, I'm going to have so-and-so. And then it was Cardiff, so it didn't work out. Yeah. All right. So this is John hitting on his guest. This is one of the things that he does best. And he still talks to me. Oh, we've been talking to each other for three years. Oh, he's talking about Andy Dick. Her fiance. So I'm using the quotes correctly. Her yeah. fiance. <laughs> <laughs> and he calls me his fiance, and he's very like committed to calling me that. But he never tried to hook up with me like sexually. But he, he likes me as a person and loves yes. me as a person. Well, if I were there, you know, I would try, try endlessly to hook up with you sexually. <laughs> that, that's Jesus. why I'm across the country right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Good that's what they all say. Yeah, you know I'm a creep, right? You know that. I'm a sexual deviant. You know this, right? <laughs> now that we're past that. Yeah, who would tell a girl if I was with you, I'd be trying to fuck you nonstop? Who would yeah. say that? Men literally someone? always say that. Yeah. This is I not even John I'm... being weird. This is just normal male <laughs> this, behavior. This is normal male behavior. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to peck her out right now. Just uh, <laughs> have it out right now. You know no means yes. Come on. I'm going to be right there. <laughs> Just because you're so beautiful, it'd be out. That's just how it is. <laughs> My way of saying thanks. You know, <laughs> actually, here I was thinking that John's being a creep, but Ray, you can learn from this guy. Just always be hitting on women. Always be hitting on them. You never Ray, know. Give them rides home. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, start ABC, there. ABC, <laughs> always be closing, Ray. That's, That's all. right. ABC, always be closing. Okay. So, Elisa's talking about how she no longer does her podcast. She's just doing this. IRL streaming, and she's very proud of herself. It's working out very well for her. She's making a lot of money. She's having a lot of fun. And this is funny because John doesn't know what IRL stands for. Even though the super chat, let's look at what the super chatter's name is on this. And you're making money doing it. Uh, yeah, it's a six figure income doing IRL for any person that does it. Any person that does it. Can what is IRL? It. I'm sorry, because that's what this guy just said. Okay, so IRL stands for in real life. So in real life says, oh my God, it's the IRL queen. He goes, yeah, the super chat also. Like, what does IRL even mean? It's amazing. No, but in real life, what does it mean? (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So then this turns into John hitting on Elisa again. Mm -hmm. Uh Because now Elisa's saying, you know, I could, she coaches people how to do this IRL streaming. And so she's like, I I could, (laughs) she goes, I could teach you, John, how to do this. And of course, she's in Florida. John has a house in Florida, as we know. And so John sees an opportunity. I see a sitcom coming. (laughs) Well, here's Forrest, uh, Elisa. Thanks for the five bucks. John and Elisa, IRL together in Florida would be gold. Yeah, we would. Well, listen, I'm going to be back (laughs) there in August if you want to do it together. I'll come by you. I don't care. All right. Because I'm getting you. my Harley fixed. I, I don't know. For some reason, <laughs> when I moved it. Okay, it, no Harley for IRL. <laughs> you need a car. No, you got to get in the back. Uh, you got to get in the back of the Harley with me. Oh, that, that's an IRL disaster. So John's not understanding what this is. You don't get on a very loud motor vehicle <laughs> and drive around so you can't hear the conversation. <laughs> That's not what this but is at all. He really thinks it's a date. Life. He already thinks this is a date. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll come over with IRL all night. <laughs> no. Is um, is John planning to put his Harley on a jet blue flight from California to <laughs> yes. Florida? Like, <laughs> That's a good question. He says that his Harley's in Florida now. I wonder how he got it there. I guess he, I guess he had it shipped or something. But it's not working, so he just said yeah. that it doesn't even work. There was that biker <laughs> gang. It was damaged in shipment. You know what? I bet that biker gang, I bet that was like a Pee Wee's uh, Big Adventure uh. scenario <laughs> where he knocked over the bike and then all the other bikes fell over. Uh, I got. I got to tell you, I just shipped a car across country, and it's expensive as shit. Yeah, I don't see how John could afford that. <gasps> Which well, is weird in that movie because that's when tequila comes in. Correct. That's <laughs> fucked up, <laughs> man. Right. That's fucked up. Holy shit! <laughs> it's all coming together. Wow, <laughs> it's all making sense now. All right, so um, this is more just John. I don't think that. Um, him and Elisa have a good chemistry together. He forgets their history a lot, and she has to remind him about things that have happened. Yeah. Um, I brought I, pizza I, to your house. I know, but you turned on me. You're like a you're a flip flopper. No, you turned on me. I, I, I know I didn't. I did not turn on you. I Can did you not pause turn on for you. A second? I, I always said, John. One one of the very few non super chats he put up. 
Elisa, don't you want to experience John's charm in real life? Yeah, that's a good point because he's letting uh, the chat hit on her for him. Yeah. Because the yeah. other one that I played before was just like, oh, you guys got an IRL together. And he's just like, oh, I mean, I don't think so, but everyone yeah. else does. <laughs> mm-hmm. The mob has spoken. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Steve J has spoken. We got to hook up. I did not turn on you. I did not turn on you. I, I always said, John, I want you as a guest on my podcast. I really like you. I hung out with you several times, different places. And even so, you still turned on me, and I still don't know why. Because you had me on your show and sabotaged me. Don't you remember? I did not sabotage you. I, you could have just handled that more normally, like, <laughs> and just been like, okay, that's a bad caller. Like there are bad callers oh, that yeah. call into a show that? like yes. that. Like, you know that. You should know mm. that better than anyone. Stuttering fuck face. Yes. <laughs> that was the one. She's getting all these phone calls coming in. And people are like coming into the chat. Yes. And everyone's just like, hey, you stuttered fuck face. She's like, whoa, what's going on? I'm the guest. <laughs> John, you're bitter, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're a bitter guy. Obviously, she's like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> She may have turned a little bit. All right. This is great because Ken Otto is a Nazi sympathizer. Gives a uh, a super chat here. <laughs> but again, this is turning into an opportunity for John to hit on her. Right. So he again. doesn't know what to do. Because I love seeing your face. Ken Otto is a Nazi sympathizer. Thanks for five bucks. Hey, John, you should take Elise and her friends out for dinner. I, I would certainly take, at least when I'm in Florida, I'll take you out to dinner if you want. I'm care. so excited. When are you getting here? August. But anyway, so I live okay. So uh, about a two and a half hour drive. Is that correct? Yeah, but like I would be so excited for this because I think you should be <laughs> absolutely incredible. Um, at, yeah, I just think this, this kind of like your podcasting is very good and you're getting the super chats. It's awesome. But I think there's like so much excitement to like this other kind of way. And I think you would just love it and you would love the attention and it's just like more fun. I 100% agree with Elisa here. I've been saying this for a while. If John would just film his day-to-day life, we'd all be watching it. It'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. Just those still photos of him in the bagel shop. People can't get enough of that. He spelled his finger. Like, whoa, what's going on here? This guy, Elisa, yes, you have to make this happen. I don't care if you have to sleep with the guy or have dinner with them or both. You got to get this guy to start IRL streaming so that we can all watch him 24-7. I think she's right. And I got to jump back in with just one clip because it's kind of related. Okay. Go to PC5. I would love to. Before you do that, did you hear him uh, accuse the Shuli Network of photoshopping those bagel shop pictures? Shut up. Did he really? To make them look fatter. (laughs) Now, the Shuli Network aren't the ones who got that. They can't even make a poster. (laughs) <laughs> but they're gonna make <laughs> good point. Yeah. Surely potatoes. that would make me look a four feet tall. It's potatoes making some points over here. Mm-hmm. Gotta give it to them. In the area like I bought at, I can't tell you how many people, without me even saying anything, come up to me and ask for pictures and autographs. Wow. That's yeah. why you're growing your hair back out again. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many people because it's embarrassing. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's going to be recognizable. He got off the uh, plane. My real like, estate agent asked me for my signature. <laughs> <laughs> the UPS guy. <laughs> the mortgage company. <laughs> No, they asked credit card at Applebee's. I had to sign. I had to sign a sheet of paper for him. Everybody wanted my signature and my mom's. So uh, uh, Elisa's right. The hype is building, man. He's got energy yes. going. Oh, for sure. Heat. This would be huge. I could see him signing his receipts. Like, and what's your name, sugar? All right. <laughs> to, uh, to Stephanie. Just, you know, just sign it at the customer. All right, whatever. It's fine. I-, I wonder if he signs his credit card stuttering John. He just, does. Uh, it's his legal name at this point. All right, so now we're talking about how John's a teacher. He's going to impress Elisa with this, and he's going to give us some real information, I believe, which I didn't know about. Maybe super fans did, but uh, this is interesting. I also love that he can't just <laughs> well, say he's a teacher. I... Like he can't just say he's a teacher. It's like I do it because it's like you know it's good for the kids. That's why I do it. I don't want it. He goes back like and he... forth between bragging about how much money he makes, and then yeah. also saying that he's doing it because the kids need him. And yeah. in this clip, you're going to see he admits that he's still a substitute teacher, but he likes to say that he makes $106,000 a year, and he cites this one article he found that said that tenured teachers could make that much over time. 
But substitutes definitely do not. Substitutes make money while they're teaching and school's out for summer. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I took my exam on the 23rd of August to be a, a, a fully credentialed teacher. But are you right like a now, substitute I'm a teacher? What? Are you like a substitute teacher or something right now? Yeah, I do long term right now. So I did uh, for seven months last this last thing I did uh, three and a half months of science, three and a half three and a half months of drama. But I write my own exams. I teach my own, you know, what curriculum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I remember being a kid and substitute teachers coming like, forget that shit. You were yeah. learning. <laughs> what are you gonna do with what I say today? I got my own textbook. He's like is Shakespeare. What the fuck is this? We're learning Star Wars today. <laughs> Is the full-time teacher exam the same as the Mensa exam? Like, I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's let's see. She has some questions. This is good. I mean, teach drama, a drama class? Drama and science, yeah. Oh, really? And then last year was algebra and math. Seventh, eighth grade algebra and sixth grade math. And um, I'm a lot smarter than you think, Alicia. I, I, I'm, like, blown away. I don't know what to say about that. So eighth grade algebra is taught to eighth graders. He's, and smart. he's explaining how smart he is because he can teach elementary kids about drama and math. I don't know how those two things align, but in John's world. So anyway, the point is, is that he's still a substitute teacher. He just admitted that. And he's got this exam coming up on August 23rd, which I think is after the school year starts in LA, but I could be wrong about that. But anyway, mm -hmm. he's going to take this exam. And then if he's credentialed, he can become a science teacher. But he has to pass that exam first. Now, I'll ask you, Cardiff, what's the largest planet? <laughs> yeah. Jupiter. Yes, and yeah. what's the hottest planet? Mercury. Venus. You, pa you failed. Venus, whatever. I still <laughs> fail. <laughs> I think I said Mars. When Did you see what yeah, he asked me? Yeah, that's why I'm <laughs> I think asking I said you Mars, that. Yeah, okay. That's why I'm asking you that, because he was showing off how smart he is, asking you these questions a sixth grader would know the <laughs> What's the nicest planet? <laughs> <laughs> Uranus. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know if I can name him in order. I'd have to like look that up. Right, Mercury, no, no Venus, one Earth, thinks you can name Mars. him in order. I promise you that. <laughs> yeah. Ray, it's okay. Yeah. It's planet. okay. Are you on right now, Ray? <laughs> yeah. We'd be happy with that. Who are these podcasts?